I remember I was out with my friends having dinner. Nothing seemed unusual. But then I got a call from my father asking me to rush home. A few days later, we went into our first lockdown. आज रात 12 बजे से संपूर्ण देश में संपूर्ण लॉकडाउन होने जा रहा है When the lockdown started, lockdown by Kendra Mkila Kanyaniya. Lockdown, 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 Not being able to meet my friends, play cricket, or even stay up late watching the IPL. To me, it sounded like chill at home for a few more days. Try to make the best of the situation, and everything will go back to normal. Spoiler alert: It didn't. I'm a very hyperactive person, so it's hard for me to just stay at home without being able to run around wildly or just be outdoors. I hated waking up in the morning because I couldn't go outside. Go to restaurants with my parents. I mean. <laughs> I was jealous of my cat. I started to wake up at time for lunch. Mornings didn't exist anymore. I was so tired of following the same old routine every single day. I'd wake up late just so I could go to bed. It felt like I was stuck in an infinite loop, reliving the same day again and again. I was starting to get annoyed and um, frustrated. 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 Bored. Two weeks of pure anger towards everyone and everything. But then. It struck me. Maybe I should make the most of my time. How I spend the next 20 days or maybe even longer depends on me. I picked up my writing after a long time and the empty streets were perfect for some photography. I had time to develop skills which I probably wouldn't have if the summer went according to plan. People on Instagram are putting out stories of art that they made, music that they created, food that they cooked. I always wanted to explore where my passions lay and to narrow down on my fields of interest. And so I did exactly that. This wave of creativity inspired me to do more. I started creating art and music again. At one point, I even started making TikToks. Spending time with family or catching up with old friends really brought some light to the situation. By binging movies with my parents, babysitting my siblings, or even video calling my friends, I created stronger bonds with people even without leaving the house. Spending time with my family really helped me understand them better. Somehow, while desperately waiting to meet my friends, I got closer to my family without even realizing. I started helping around the house and doing chores. I think only now do I realize how hard it is to be a homemaker. As days pass, I guess I'm adapting to this temporary change in my lifestyle. I eventually realized it's really not that bad. This break from the world gave me time to focus on myself. Of course, it wasn't all easy, and my spirit broke more times than I could count. Sometimes. You just have to look at things through a different lens to see the good side. I don't need to go outside to socialize or draw inspiration or get rid of some energy. Learn something new. Hug the people around you. We can do all of that and so much more at home.